my name is Matt Davis, and uh, I'm really happy to be playing with these wonderful musicians. And uh, we're going to play a piece called uh, The Sunny Side of the Street. And then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, improvising. talking about improvisation today, I thought it would be great to talk about uh, the blues, which is a really fundamental, uh, elemental part of this music that we're playing. It kind of permeates, even if it's, uh, it's not apparent, it kind of permeates what we do and, and informs our musical decisions, uh, especially when we're improvising. And uh, like I'm sure everyone in this room, when I was like nine or 10, I, I totally fell in love with jazz music and, uh, and music in general, I guess, and uh, especially the guitar. And uh, my favorite guitar player was uh, Jimi Hendrix. And like, the first song, one of the first songs I ever learned was Hey Joe. <laughs> and uh, I played it like all day long, every day. 
and uh, my brother and I would play it together, and um, and I, you know I, I realized later that that's like such a straight blues lick, you know. And Jimi Hendrix is like, you know, he's coming out of the rhythm and blues kind of world, but he was so informed by the blues, and um, you know, and then I got into people like Eric Clapton and lots of other blues players and BB King, and, and then I went back into the tradition and checked out um, Mississippi John Hurt and uh, people like Robert Johnson, you know, and all these great blues guitar players that. That, uh, that really brought so much to the, the music world and pop and uh, jazz and uh, R&B and soul and then, like everything that followed. Um, so when I hear people play uh, blues and in jazz context, um, you know, sometimes it feels like a little lost, like that whole tradition and that rich uh, you know, you know, world of like music that came through is sort of lost in, in all of these uh, technical things that we do. And which are beautiful, but sometimes uh, I personally feel like I want to hear the blues if, I, if we're playing the blues, you know? So, um, you know, one thing I tell my students to do is to play a blues and treat your uh, improvisation as if it's a vocal uh, verse. So, um, so for example, like, uh, there's a great uh, blues lyric that Langston Hughes wrote called The Weary Blues, and it's, uh, uh, I got the weary blues, I can't be satisfied. And then he repeats that. I got the weary blues and I can't be satisfied. And then he concludes it by saying, uh, I'm, I'm not happy anymore and I wish that I had died. So it's sort of like one statement, the exact same statement, and then a third statement that sort of sort of uh, concludes the, the whole thing. So maybe we could play a B-flat blues and I'll try to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Hey, can you throw your brushes if you So again, I'm going to be doing a phrase, another phrase, and then a concluding phrase, and try to really outline the, the form of this blues. One, two, Especially uh, guitar players, I don't know about you guys, but when, when we play, we don't have to take a breath or anything, so sometimes our fingers can kind of get away from us, and we play a ton of notes, and uh, sometimes the feel is compromised, or the musicality is a little compromised, so by just uh, singing, we can have a great editor, and we can edit what we're playing, and make it a little bit more musical, a little bit more fun to listen to. So, I have a terrible voice, but I'm going to try to sing along with what I'm playing on this one, okay? Let's do the same thing. Again, I'm just into that A, A, B form. Okay, here we go, same key. Still going to remain, uh, I'm going to still 
step, we're not going to play, it's about listening, because this music has such a rich tradition of recorded music, and uh, I encourage everybody who's listening or watching to go uh, on YouTube, or, you know, there's so many different outlets to listen to music now, and uh, check out these artists like uh, uh, Ray Charles, you know, and uh, Robert Johnson, and B.B. King, and all these great blues uh, musicians, and then later jazz interpreters like uh, 